What's going on guys? Bradley Martin here. I want to talk about something very important. Most of the time when I do talking videos, Bam, where are you going? Come over here. Come over here. Come here, stop wandering away. I don't know where you're going. Hey, you heard me. Come here. Bam, go inside. Go inside. You're distracting everybody right now. You're, I know you're pretty and all that. You're super beautiful, but I need you to go inside. Go inside. Go inside. Go. She's distracting me. So, I just had a really long conversation. All right, I gotta make sure she goes in. She's behind the car now. Hold on. Bam, come here. Come here. Come here. Come over here. She'll come, I promise. Look, look. Go inside. Go. Okay. All right, so listen. Seriously, like, stay with me on this video. It's very important. I just had a really long conversation with a member here, and he was telling me about the loss, the loss of his mother, and the way it makes him feel, right? Um, and the reason why it touched me so, so much, because, like, I know all the thoughts, I know all the feelings, I know all the moments, like, I know all the, 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 the parts where you think about something you lost, a family member, a job, a relationship, um, maybe you didn't hit a PR, so, it could be something smaller, it doesn't have to be something like you lost a family member. What, that's what we talked about right now, was him losing his mother and how it made him feel. And I was able to relate to him how I lost my father and how it made me feel and, and what I've learned. The thing that I want to talk about is not just like, you know, losing family members, losing anything in general. Feeling like the, the idea of loss, the idea of like, uh, I had this, I don't have it. And it was something I wanted. It was something I needed. It was something that made me feel a certain way, right? First off, number one, and this is really, really hard to understand when it's, when it's fresh. So, so bear with me. If it's fresh, if you have lost in your life of a loved one or a job or a love, like a loved one, even like a, a relationship, um, anything, any type of loss, any feeling of like this shouldn't have happened, right? If it's fresh, again, bear with me. But I want to say this, like all of these things, all of these moments, are a part of your life. So you, you did, you lost something you thought you needed, but you got something you didn't know that you needed. You see what I'm saying? You got something else. So it may be like, oh, I feel a void, right? I feel a void of this, my mother. I feel a void, that relationship. I feel a void, uh, that thing I wanted, that thing I had and now I don't have. But you're getting parts of your life, because you're still here and you got to deal with that, right? You're getting parts of your life you didn't know you needed. You didn't know you were going to need. Like, I look back on my life and I can be like, man, this stuff happened to me when I was a kid. I lost my father. I, uh, recently, last year, like, I dealt with a whole bunch of bullshit. Like, all these things, right, that I was like, why this happened to me? This is unfair to me. This shouldn't be happening to me. Like, I know where my heart is. I know, I know what matters to me. I know what I care about. I know what kind of person I am. This shouldn't happen to me. Why did I have to deal with it? Like, too young to deal with it. anything. Whatever your thoughts are about it, like, it just shouldn't happen to me because I'm, because I'm a good person. You may feel this way. Now, I want to tell you guys something, like, First of all, no one or nothing can make you feel a certain way. You understand what I'm saying? So in a relationship, for example, you'd be like, yeah, you know, but they made me feel like this and I lost it. It made me feel like this, but I lost it. I don't have it. You have the power to make you feel however you need to feel, right? It is very hard. I get it when it's first happening to be like, oh, I have that power. But as you move forward, as you move past it, as it, like time goes by and you start to learn like, the different sides of loss. Like, okay, I lost this, but for example, let's say I lost my father, which I did, right? I lost my father, you lost your mother, you lost your brother, you lost your cousin, whatever. And it, and it hurts, like it's painful, it's emotion, it's something you like, you wish you didn't have to feel, okay? That same emotion, that same pain, that same feeling is an energy that you can use to benefit you in your life now, right? That's what I meant by you got something you didn't know you needed to push you forward in your life. And you might be like, Brad, like, I don't care. I wanted that. I wanted my, my mom to not pass away. I wanted my dad to not pass away. I wanted to have a mother. I wanted to have a father. I wanted to experience this. Right? I wanted to keep experiencing this. The point is, in loss, it's not your choice. Okay? I love you guys. I love you guys from my heart, but it's not your choice. It's not your choice to decide this, this is something that I shouldn't have dealt with. I don't want to deal with it. I shouldn't be dealing with it. If it's happened to you, it's happened to you and that's it. You're dealing with it. It wasn't your choice, but it's your responsibility as a person, if you wanna be better, if you wanna be better, 
to take that loss and to let it propel you forward, right? Because a lot of the things, like I can look back on my life, for example, and be like, the things that I went through made me who I am today and I wouldn't change a single thing. I wouldn't say, oh, let me go back in time and not do this thing. Let me go not deal with that business. Or let me go not try and work something out with this person or let me, let me like undo my father passing away. Like I wouldn't go back and do those things now knowing where it's brought me in my life today. I had a conversation with, with this kid over here, okay? And I was able to share things with him because of my experiences in my life that helped him smile, that helped him walk away like, I'm grateful for that, thank you. Thank you for your time, whatever, right? If I didn't go through those things in my life back then, there is no way I could have sat down and been able to relate to him on a way that was able to like, just so he felt like he could vent. He felt like he could talk about something that he seems similar. He seems similar because he's heard me talk about this on the internet before, right? He would have never came to me. So all this stuff I have in my life, like all these things that are cool and great, and cars or a gym and all this stuff and all these people who have been supporting me over the years, it's not because like, yeah, maybe some are like, oh, he's jacked and he did cool jack stuff, but like, I think these are the things, moments like that, times that I've had with people, are the most significant things in my life now. And, and it's like, I wouldn't have any of this, any of this, if it wasn't for the loss that I had to experience, if it wasn't for the feeling of the things that I was like, this shouldn't have happened to me. But it did, there was something else, there was something else there that I didn't know I needed. That I didn't know that was gonna be a big part of my life. And at the time, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it, I got older. I couldn't see it, I got older. And then another thing you get, another thing you get with loss, like I said earlier, you get an energy, you get an emotion, you get a feeling that you can use two ways. You can use it destructively and let it tear you down, which I'm gonna tell you guys, like off top, I have let my energy, my emotion of the idea of loss of the things that had bothered me, I had let those things tear me down. I let it happen because I was, I, it was unfair. It shouldn't happen to me because I know where my heart was. I shouldn't have dealt with it. And I kept that mindset and I kept that mindset going and going and I was resistant to the change. I was resistant to letting go of like what I thought I should have had and how it should have been. But it's not, it's not and it wasn't and it's not. Like you have to be like, okay, draw a line where you're at. Right? And understand that like the things beyond that line where you're like, it should have been this way, it's just not. Like the loss, the things, uh, it's not. And I just wanna reiterate it one more time, guys. It's okay. And it's not always easy when it first happens to realize that. Like, I, again, guys, my, I lost my father when I was six. I'm 28 now. It's only like in the last few years that I've been able to say like, oh, this is, this is why. This is the biggest like thing that I was able to say, damn, I'm grateful that it happened to me. I would never even say I'll go back and relive my life and say, oh, my father never took his life, I wouldn't. Because of all the other people and all the other conversations I've had throughout my life now, with people like this, who have shared their emotion, their life, their energy with me, I would never go back and say, oh man, uh, if I could go back and hit this button, that would have never happened. I would say absolutely not, I would continue to live my life the way it is, because I'm grateful. And it just took me years to feel that way, to see it. But had I not gone through that, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So straight up guys, I love you, I appreciate all the support. Just know you have the power to change how you feel. No one else, nothing else, no circumstance has the power to make you feel a certain way. I'm not gonna tell you that it's, it's easy to just be like, oh, turn that switch and you're good. It's not easy. And I still struggle with it as a human, as a person every day. But I, I try to do my best with what I have now. And that's all you can do. And I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe, I appreciate all the support. Turn on the post notifications. So much more coming soon. This year, I told you, you've been watching any of my videos, I'm going hard. Coming back hard. Coming back real hard. I don't know why I did that, that was weird. Can that's you weird. cut that out? You never do that. I never do that. I feel like I just want to give him a kiss, but that's kind of weird because most of the audience is guys. That's really weird. That is super weird. Can we cut all that I can't, out? Can't cut it. Can we please cut that out? Oh, it's... Damn. You messed up, bro. Damn. Yo, just cut that whole, let's reshoot the video. No. Yeah, let's reshoot the video. What's going on, guys? <laughs> just kidding, I don't even care. I love you guys, I'm out. What is, it? What is all this stuff? Huh? Oh, this is a, a, a paper. You can clean up the back of the gym, man. Well, Actually, this, this, this is not part of the, this is part of the, and that's dog. And that's dog. Just the back of the gym is fresh, bro. Actually, it looks really cool for me. Look, look at the camera, look. Yeah, it really cool. Super. Like, you, like you zoom out from here, like you like here, and then boom. Like. Cool. Look.